Let's go. We need to check around this village. Ah, Kaim, nice to have you here. Things haven't changed a bit around here, don't you think? Well, Kaim doesn't really remember. But we might get a dream here somewhere. Jansen is waiting by the door there. He probably wants some sleep. Definitely. Oh, wow. This is so cozy. I would love to live here. This is so freaking cozy. I already love this place. Jansen, you will have to stay there for a while because I'm gonna check around. I was starting to think we'd never meet again. Staying alive all these years has paid off, huh? I'm glad you came by. All these people seem to remember Kaim. Maybe he did something heroic? Welcome, Kaim. That house on the cliffside of the Northern Cape, where you and Sarah lived, it's still there, you know. <gasps> he lived here! That's why they know who he is. You can't get to Gotso without traversing through the cave, but with things the way they are these days, sealing it off was the right thing to do. There was a cave to go there? Why are there so many Kelelon statues? <laughs> oh, almost missed this vase. I would have missed a seed. Oh, another one. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Hmm. Maybe there's gonna be a mission. Locate every single one of them. Yeah, definitely. There's too many. And they're put so randomly. I, I would be sure if they had one, one or two, but... Damn, they have plenty of these Kelelon statues. For it not to be a minigame. You know, if that's the case, then I am a genius. Because I figure things out. Are we done? I don't think so. We haven't really gone over here. Nothing hidden here. Almost looks like there could be something hidden. You're Kaim, aren't you? My grandpa told me that you're the guy who saved our village long ago. <gasps> so he did do something heroic also. So he lived here and did something heroic. Oh, hi Kaim. You're Kaim, right? Oh. My grandfather told me all about you. Yeah, didn't you just tell me this? He gave this to me as a keepsake. It's really valuable to us, but it's what you use to protect our village, right? So here, Kaim, I want to return it to you. <gasps> he just started talking to me. Obtained magic power locator level one. How? Hey, Kaim, try it out now. I've hidden a treasure somewhere it's inside the village. See if you can find it. Huh? Here's a hint. It's hidden somewhere way up high. It's yours if you can find it. Well, I was at that... Kind of tower-ish thingy. Really high up. View the treasure hunting tutorial? Yeah! I'm not gonna assume I know. Using the magic powered locator you will be able to look for treasures hidden all over the world. Mm -hmm. So I need to speak with every single NPC. But to find treasures, you must obtain information on the whereabouts of these treasures. Yeah, definitely need to speak with every single NPC. Once you get information on a treasure, it will appear on the treasure's screen within the item menu. When you have your magic powered locator information, there will be a glowing point on the navigation map when you enter the area in which the treasure is hidden. Uh-huh. The treasure is hidden at the glowing point. Search for it in the nearby area. Okay. You can increase the output of the magic powered locator, enabling you to find a lot more treasure than with level 1 locator. 
Oh, so I need to find these also. Hmm. So, where was it? No, that's composite magic. Oh, generate. All generate. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I think I will be loving this composite magic. All aqua, all flare. Yes, please. Where was it? It's not over here. Ah. Uh. Should I change one? Now that I'm already here? There's no magic locator there at least. Uh, not on status either. Maybe item? Or equipment? Ring assembly? Can we do something here? Mm, could do a poison ring. Anger ring, osmosis. Draining ring. Absorbs a small amount. Mm, effective area is widened. Sleep. Occasionally. That doesn't sound too often. Is it like a 10% chance? Where is it? Why didn't I pay attention to the menu? I know the... The treasures... Should be here somewhere. Oh, there it is. A treasure lies in the highest place in Tosca. Okie dokie. Highest place, you say? I think I saw a place here. Oh, it does say on the map as well. It's glowing. So let's get up. Jansen, you will have to wait a bit more. Oh, examine. It just says examine. Can't actually see it. Dark crystal staff, dark crystal ring. <laughs> Is the staff for Jansen, maybe? And not Cook. Since it's a dark staff, I don't think it's for, for Cook. You brought us food when we were all about to starve to death, right? My grandpa says that we owe everything to your help. Oh, Kaim is such a good person. Ooh, a dream? I've been in my fair share of battles, but one day, just as I was swinging my sword at someone, I suddenly thought, man, I wish I could have been a baker. I have no idea how a thought like that came to me, but after that battle, I quit the army. I've made my l living baking bread ever since. That sounds wonderful. I don't like fighting. If it's in a game, that's fine. But I hate fighting. There's like physical fights. It's... no, it's such an ick. Let's see what this is about. It's probably about a baker. The hero was home from the war. He had performed gallantly on the battlefield, advanced to the rank of general, and made a triumphal entry into the village of his birth. The villagers welcomed him with a festive celebration. The grown-ups were treated to drinks beginning in the afternoon, and the children received sweet confections the cattle and sheep in the pastures that supported the villagers' livelihood, whether because they were excited by the unusual commotion or were welcoming the hero in their own way, sent especially shrill cries reverber reverberating into the blue summer sky. 
reverberating. I think we read that word once before. Oh, also, I saw that the, the title of this dream is The Hero. It just disappeared out of nowhere. <laughs> but I saw it at the perception of my eye. No, that's not what it's called. Well, the side of my eye. <laughs> I don't know. General, you are the pride of our village. Obviously full of pride himself, the head of the village thrust out his chest as he delivered his congratulatory address in the welcoming ceremony. To think that the foremost hero in the army came from this tiny village is so incredibly exhilarating and gratifying. I am sure our ancestors are overjoyed as well. The throng crammed into the village square burst forth with cheers and applause. According to the official figures released by the army the other day, General, you brought down at least 2,000 enemy soldiers with your own hand. A thunderous roar shook the square. I wonder who this is about? Do we know this person? Where is Kaim in this? Come to think of it, the population of this village is less than a thousand. This means, sir, that you managed to bury more than two of these villages, worth on your own. How fortunate for us that you were not one of the enemy. If by any chance there had been a warrior of your caliber on their side, we'd all be resting in the hilltop graveyard by now. A few of the women frowned momentarily at this remark, but the men, full of liquor, responded with an explosive laugh. Sitting stage center, the general lightly stroked his dignified beard. No one pre present knew that this was his habit, whenever he was perplexed. When he left his village to join the army, he was just an ordinary soldier, a long way from growing a beard. Is he a child? Or are they in initiating? No? Insuate? What? I can't find the word. <laughs> Let's just read. <laughs> General, you are truly the savior of our army and, indeed, of our entire nation. I understand you will be leaving for another battle tomorrow, but we all hope that you will truly, thoroughly enjoy yourself on this rare visit to your birthplace. The village chief ended his greetings and withdrew to the wings. Whereupon the village number one entertainer bounded onto the stage in the most comical way he could manage. Dear General, he cried, running over to where the great man was seated and going down on his knees. Oh, hear my plea. The General looked at him uncertainly. Is there any possibility that, that you would lend me the sword at your side? If only for a moment? Perplexed though he was by all this, the general, impelled by the audience's applause and cheers, handed the man his tasseled and jewel-encrusted sword. Hmm. Well, he doesn't seem to be that perplexed. The man bowed deeply as the sword entered his outstretched hands, and again he cried, My gratitude knows no bounds pretending to stagger under the weight of the sword. He came to the front edge of the stage and held the weapon aloft. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll w I will reenact the event that raised our dear general's fame to the heights in a single bound, when he hacked 18 of the enemy into little teeny tiny bits. The audience cheered wildly, and the man, with ex exaggerated movements and commentary, swung the sword in a great arc. The audience knew exactly what he was doing. The general had not only made a name for himself for his strategic prowess, but was also widely acclaimed as a warrior on the battlefield. He did not really solely on his weapon, but in the end, leveled his opponents with his sheer physical strength. This too, was a matter of the utmost pride for the villagers. Hmm, it seems to be like some kind of a festival. If I'm taking this in correctly. Here we go. One man down. 
Two men down. Flip the sword back. Three men down. Fourth man slash diagonally through, right through the shoulder. Fifth man's head goes flying. Oof. Then three at once. Sixth. Seventh. And eighth man. What a bother. I'll just skewer you like this. The man thrust the sword through three imaginary opponents and the crowd went wild. The general too broke into a smile and applauded. When he was through clapping though, he stroked his beard again. Now he's perplexed. Stroking his beard. That was non-existent, right? Or does he have a beard now? I'm sure you can understand how I felt at the time. Sitting up there on that stage, the old general says to Kaim before taking a sip of water from his leather pouch. His magnificent beard is completely white. Oh, he has a beard. So distant are the past events he is, he is re recounting. <laughs> Kaim nods in silence and the general continues, as if mulling over every word. The more you know about war, the more you feel that way. I'm sure the villagers meant well. They just wanted to pay homage to their hometown hero. No, of course. They weren't being the least bit malicious. My village has the nicest people in the world. Which is exactly why I found the whole thing so painful. I couldn't stand it after a while. Need some water? Ah. Why does this sound like Final Fantasy VIII? When you meet Rinoa and the owls. Hacking 18 men to bits. I can't stop thinking about it. The deeds of a hero are relatable, related in numbers. Surely the man who playfully swung the general sword on stage. That they could never have imagined the ones who lost their lives on the battlefield. The agonized expressions on their faces. The curse in their eyes as they stared into nothingness. It's this part. This. Right? But that's all right too. People who live peaceful lives don't have to know about such things. That's what people like us are for. You keep their lives far away from the battlefields. Don't you agree? Thanks to us and our killing of enemies, the people we're supposed to protect don't have to know anything about the bloodiness of war. Unless you believe that. What's the point of people killing each other? Time says nothing in reply. Without either affirming or negating the old general's words. He stares vaguely at the general's troops. I wonder if this will have a bad or a good ending. I assume it's gonna be like a wake-up call for the general in some way. What do you say your name is, Kaim? I suppose you've killed more enemy soldiers than you can begin to count. There is no way I could count them all. I thought so. You have a flawless build. The kind that can only be tempered on the battlefield. Only a man who has survived one battle after another can carry himself, the way you do with complete naturalness. How does a man like you find himself driving a horse cart over a mountain pass? Oh, that's what he's doing. Time is ready to leave without answering if the old man asks him such a question. Ah. But the general inquires no further into Kaim's background. Instead, there is a sense of relief in the smile he bestows on the side of Kaim resting his horse as at the pass. So he has horses. Not only one horse. I was 16 the first time I went into battle. After that, I just kept running from one fight to another until I made it all the way to general. At first, I remember the faces of the men I crossed swords with and killed. Even if you don't try to remember them, they get carved into your memory. I had terrible nightmares. And try as I might, 
I could never seem to wash off the stench of blood that splashed on my face and hands. That was a, halluc a hallucination, of course. But it got so bad once that I spent a whole night in a river trying to wash myself off. Uh, General, that doesn't sound so good. Sounds like you should stop killing people, maybe. You know, maybe do something other for a change. Make, maybe bake some bread, make some cake. The General paused a moment to think about his story, then went on. But after a while you get used to it. You get used to fighting and killing over and over again. Your body and your mind and your heart. You just get used to it. That's how people are. So I stopped having nightmares. I killed all the enemy soldiers I could lay my hands on. And I forgot every one of their faces. It's the same for you now too, Kaim, isn't it? Maybe so. You haven't been... Alive that much longer than Kaim. It's like a curse. If you don't get used to it, your heart breaks. On the other hand, if you do get used to it, your heart probably ends up breaking someplace deeper down. The general casts a fond glance toward his resting troops, then, slowly shifting his gaze far down to the foot of the mountain, he says, so that's what I, it was like for me back then, when I returned to my birthplace in Triumph. He seems to be regretting it, this general. He seems to be... Yeah, definitely like he's regretting it, because he's probably having painful memories. For the final event in the welcoming ceremonies, several children mounted the stage, and now in honor of our hero, the children will represent to the general a floral wreath more marvelous than the greatest medal there ever was. The audience went wild again. When the children put the wreath on his neck, the general favored them with a warm smile. First honest smile from the heart that he had managed since Klim climbed onto the stage. And even to think about the general actually killing other men that are probably also fathers mm, and having the kids come up there with a wreath and finally as a special treat for the general who has been galloping from one battlefield to the next far from his native place the children's chosen representative will read his own original composition spelling out the joys of the peaceful life of the village with a look of grim intensity, a small boy barely old enough to go to school unfolded his composition and, gripping it in two hands, began to read aloud from it, straining to make himself heard. Is this the part where the child is gonna be like, you killed my father, biatch? First I'm going to write about one of the nicest things that had happened to me at my house. We have a pasture with lots of cows and sheep. One cow had a baby two days ago. I helped my daddy by stroking the cow's back. With a handful of straw while she was having the baby. That makes the cow warm up so it's easier for her to give birth. The baby was born just before the sun came up. It was a tiny baby, but it could already stand on its own legs. A baby? Wow. I'm going to take care of this baby until it gets big. Dear little calf, hurry and grow up, okay? Sweet. I thought it was gonna get dark. <laughs> the general had tears in his eyes. Oh? Is it because that's the kind of life he wanted? To be a farmer like? Now I'm going to write about one of the saddest things that happened to me. That was when my grandma got sick and died. She was such a nice grandma. I know her sickness made her feel bad. But she was always smiling when I was around. She let me hold her hand when she died. I watched her face the whole time. Because I knew I wouldn't be able to see her anymore. And I wanted to remember her even after I grew up. She just kept smiling and smiling for me right to the very end. 
That's why she is always smiling when I think of her. Are you looking down on me from the sky, Grandma? I will never forget to you as long as I live. Maybe it's because... Also because the general is thinking about the simple life. Tears were streaming down the general's face. Maybe he never got to experience this, these kinds of feelings. When the ceremony ended, the general left his village and headed for the town where army headquarters were located. There, he wrote a long letter to the king, and he gave his sword to his most trusted lieutenant. The general had decided to retire. Oh, is he gonna be a baker or a farmer? This was a big surprise to me, as it was to anybody. But when I heard that little boy's essay, it occurred to me. Heard. What makes us really human is to celebrate each life that comes into the world and mourn each life that is lost. I didn't need medals anymore. I didn't need the honor of being allowed into the presence of his majesty anymore. I wanted to be a real human being again. As a result, overnight, I went from the be being the village, village hero to being re reviled as a traitor. Oh, why is he he's a traitor? Because he retired. Good for you, man. Retire. Stop killing people. The general turns to face Kaim and asks, So are you going to mock me as a coward who ran away from the battlefield? Or blame me for being a deserter who betrayed his own pat patronism? Kaim turns a gentle smile on the old man. Neither, he says. As a soldier, you made the wrong decisions. But as a human being, you made the right one. The general strokes his white beard and says, my habit has changed too. Nowadays, I find myself stroking my beard when I'm embarrassed. Oh. The two men look at each other and smile. So now it's not because he's perplexed that he's stroking his beard. Stroking his invisible beard. Now it's because he's embarrassed. Okay, back to work, says the general. Standing with a grunt. He's a farmer. He calls out to his troops. All right, man. It's all downhill from here. Let's give it one last push and get back to the village before sunset. The troops under the general's command consist of 30 sheep. Sheep. Not one of whom is likely to take a person's life. I love this for the general. Good turn. Tell me, Kaim, are you planning to go back into the battle at some point? I don't really know, he replies. I'm content with herding sheep for now, the general says. I don't have the least regret for the, 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 the decision I made that day. It would make me happy to think this could be a kind of lesson for you. With this parting remark, the general turns away from Kaim and begins walking. The sheep amble along after him in newly reformed ranks. I get such a sweet image in my head. I like it. Maybe this one actually has a good ending. Standing at attention, the general raises his right arm and waves his troops on. Forward, march! The command he had once delivered to tens of thousands of men in the battlefield now echoes pleasantly among the mountains of his native village. The end. It was a sweet story. Yeah, I like this. I like this. We don't have to cry at every single dream we get. So this is a good change. Yeah, good. Very good. Discovered treasure- what? Aha! Uh -huh, we got treasure? From a memory? Ah, I see it's glowing on the map. Being a baker's hard work too, you know. It's funny to think that the bread I used to eat on the battlefield was probably being made by someone like me. Hmm. 
You are right. Money, money, money. Must be funny. You're Kaim, aren't you? My grandpa told me that you're the guy who saved our village long ago. Oh, you said that too. Wait, aren't you the same one? <laughs> I saw her, that old sorceress. Her face was a mess. She looked like a monster. Something's definitely wrong with that old woman, I tell you. Huh? A sorceress? Where? In this village? Huh? Everyone seems pretty scared of that old sorceress, but I think she's any... I don't think she's any kind of monster. Hmm. Why? Is it because we don't know? Kaleelon is the guardian spirit of the village, but I have to be good, or else he won't protect me. Good thinking. Healing tank. Is it a tank that heals? This road leads out of the village, but you'd best avoid it. It's dangerous out there. Okay, well, we don't really want to go out the village. Should we just go inside here first? And then we'll go back to Jansen and the others. Welcome back, Kaim. Where have you been all this time? Laid back Bosso. <laughs> This is so nice to get back to a village where everyone is so happy to see Kaim. And this is probably where he's lived. For how long? I don't know. Probably a long time ago. Oh, he has a cat. Oh, a peepot. Uh, do you want some seeds? Do I get something or did I give you... Oh took something out of the pot. Earth charm? Do you want something else? Was that all I had? Oh yeah. I thought I had more. Do you want HP, MP? Healing medicine? Another one? Another one? Another one? Healing herb. Okay, maybe it does more healing, the herb. I love you. Oh, I love cats. Okie dokie. One more house to check. And then we have a treasure. And then we can go to Jansen. We're just gonna check inside here. Maybe we'll get more memories here. Oh, of all the people, it's Kaim. Hey everyone, we've got a visitor. Oh, everyone is so nice. I was gonna play with my brother, but he's not home. Probably out getting into trouble again. Oh, I see your brother. Well, well, thanks for visiting. I know this place isn't so fancy, but I hope you like it all the same. It is. It's so cozy. Shh, quiet down. <laughs> hey, I found your brother. I found him. My mom is always talking about my brother. How he gets into nothing but trouble. <laughs> well, that's good. I, th I almost thought he was gonna say something like, because she likes him more. And that's not something you should be telling your kids. You can't have a favorite child. Unless you're Chris Jenner. <laughs> then probably the one that makes the most money. Seriously, that woman is a genius. She's like a social genius. Uh, where we go? Okay, right. We were going to take... Oh, can I? Oh, I can jump! Is there anything here? Examine! Uh, come on. I almost thought it was up that um, ladder. Medusa's head. 
does it petrify or is it like anti anti petrify oh it's anti petrify that sounds very useful if you ask me oh stabilizer we're not done with that one mm, let's be done with this one first okay now i heard that gotsos military okay you know, I have some serious trouble believing that you actually lived here once before. <laughs> Why? Is it because it's... It's... Cozy? And quiet? It's an inn, Kaim. Look, it's been a long voyage and I, I'm sure you're tired. So why don't we call it a day here, okay? I would guess you're tired. You and the queen are tired. <laughs> and the kids. That's fine. <laughs> All the mortals. I want a cutscene. It's been a long time since we had a cutscene. Oh! My wish came true. Oh, are they having a day? I'll go with the king. We've never met, but I've heard he's very wise. I'm confident that he has a ship that can get us past the hypercurrents. And he seems sweet. Tolten, that is. <sighs> wow, that hit the spot. You know, I'm finally starting to feel at home. Here. Uh, uh. No. Are you even Jensen. listening to me? <sighs> Bad Jensen. Place for that stuff, and this is neither. Uh, tell me, is it really true stupid? You drink? Um, yes. That is so sad. But you're a queen. I mean, don't you have wine or champagne at parties or banquets, hangings, uh, any festive thing like that? No. Hmm. Well, look it. Nobody knows us here. Come on, just give it a try. I guarantee you'll like it. Really. <sighs> Jensen, you don't have many points right now. I bet if you take a couple drinks, you might get your memory back. Yeah, it relaxes the mind and other things. You think so? Absolutely. Hey, look at me. You're talking to Jansen here. Uh, Bottoms up. <laughs> Bottoms up. First time I wanted to slap Jansen. The freak. Why what? are you making you her drink when done? she don't want? Um, no, it's just I've never tasted anything like it before. You don't have to force yourself to drink it. No, finally, I want my memory back. If no, he's fooling you. Help, I'll manage to drink it. He's fooling you, <laughs> Jansen. Why? You better not wow, do something stupid. What is he thinking about? Are you uh, okay? Oh, I feel very lightheaded all of a sudden. It's affecting me like you said it would. Oh, oh your muscles yeah, well... are so. <laughs> hey, oh. Oh. oh! Well, she's oh, sleeping no. now. <laughs> hey, don't try anything. Hmm. You know, you're cute when you're asleep. What the hell do you think you're doing? Well, we're having a serious discussion about, you know, what's going to happen next in planning. Happen next? Yeah. You know, she's going to talk to the king and get us a ship because yours can't float where the... You know, after all, Goats has got the most advanced technology around. We figure we get a more seaworthy ship from him. So that, you know, what? All right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt this time. But don't try any funny business with Ming. Yeah, well, I'm looking out for her too, you know. I mean, look how restful she looks right now. I actually don't think he would do anything against her will. Nothing like that. You do not see him like such a person. He just seems like an idiot sometimes. A quora bomb, and he's probably... <laughs> he's a sloppy drunk. <laughs> sloppy drunk. Because when he's talking with Ming, he seems so, so polite. But that also, it doesn't seem like him to be that polite. But she did say to him that he should drop his act and be himself. 
so that's who he is. But I don't think he has a bad bone in his body, so... I'm not gonna be mad at him for having her drink. It was very childish of him, though. Ooh, what is this? Why is it lightened up? Mwah. Thank you for coming, Kaim. A toast for the well-being of our village, Xavier. I have heard a great deal about you from my mother and father. Please make yourself at home. Oh, I will. I'm gonna enter everything in here. Hey, welcome. How about a drink with us? Well, maybe not now. I need to check on my companions. Welcome, Kaim. We're just a humble village, but I hope you enjoy yourself here. Oh, examine. Thought I saw something. Let's go in here, into another person's room. Oops, didn't mean to barge in. Just gonna get this chest. And your wardrobes. If there are... Yes, you can open them. Not doing anything strange. I'm a good person who's looting your room. Not scary at all. Great to see you here, Kaim. Everyone's just delighted. Hmm? Strange. Shouldn't Sarah be with you? Oh, right. Well, we're looking for her. I am cleaning right now. Please wait. A oh, it's you, Kaim. Probably heard about Kaim from her mother and father. Because she's too young to know who Kaim is. Oh, are we singing today? So, how was I on stage? I'd love to perform in a bigger town someday. I don't know, ma'am. I didn't hear you. Is that your cello? Or what it's called? I don't like all the bad news we're getting lately. Have you heard the rumors about the old sorceress place out on the Cape? What about it? <laughs> Are we going there? Wash your cares away with a good drink. That's what I say. Good wine, good women. That's what life's all about. Very simple-minded. I'm sorry, I just don't feel well for some reason. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself, though. Then don't drink anymore. Could this be Kaim? Do you remember me? I suppose you wouldn't. As old as I've become. Hey, barkeep, I'm gonna drink a little more today. Can't help but reminiscence about the good old times right now. Is she just drinking there alone? You can come sit with our companions. Hey, oh, do we get a dream? I heard you were back. This place takes me back. And it looks like the years have been good to you. <laughs> Knock it off. I'm a bona fide old man now. Well, if you don't mind my saying so, you've aged really well. Seth? <laughs> She'd be looking here upside Drink down. Up. This is on the house. Well, that is mighty nice. I don't mind if I do. Can I have that big, large mug over there? What was that pose there? <sighs> I was only seven when you saved the village, but I remember you as if it were yesterday. You were a hero to us kids back then. Yeah? So, um, we're trying to get to Goza. Ah, forget it. The only way is through the Black Cave. Oh, Black Cave? I heard it had been closed off by some old sorceress. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of. We'll just bust our way through. Will that it's work, though? That simple. Neither muscle nor magic have had any effect. <laughs> Although adventurers with plenty of both have tried. 
Maybe it's sealed My for a reason. Only that old sorceress can bust through the blockage. She's got some serious magic energy. Yep, she sure does. Sounds dangerous. I'm wait until she goes to the bathroom. Then we can you know, sneak by her. <laughs> You're right. Such a good idea. It gets better. He he's just bustling with new ideas, great ideas. What gets better? You know that place where you and Sarah lived? Uh -huh. Well, that old sorceress has moved in. What? My house? We get to go to Kaim's house? Kaim and Sarah's house? You don't even have a lease agreement? <laughs> we kept the place up after you and Sarah went away. So it'd be ready if you ever came back. Well, we're back I, now. I'm afraid she's made a mess of it. Sorry. Oh. Don't what do you mean, mess? It saves us the hassle of having to look for her. That's a good point. Hmm. The only thing to do with squatters is run them out. Well, I think you'll be okay. Just be careful, Kaim. Thank you. We're off to kick some old woman's butt. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not going to go off and leave Ming like this, are you? Hell no. We'll head out there tomorrow morning. Yeah, Ming needs some rest. And probably so does Jansen. Because he drunk AF. It's morning! Tolti's in. That's so cute, Tolti. Let's do a save. And before we go off from this village, I'm just gonna have to check everything first. I don't wanna miss anything. Maybe there's some more treasure or something? Oh, what was that? Oh, it said rest. That's why. And we already did rest. Oh, there's people here. This is Kelelon, the protective deity of our village. Are you here to pay your respects? Mm. Sure. View the Kelelon minigame tutorial. I freaking knew it! I knew it. I am such a genius. Pay your respects to the Kelelon statues spread around Tosca village. Press the A button while standing. Okay. In some areas. Okie dokie. I know exactly what I have to do, but 16? Have we seen them all? Try to visit as many as you can, or when the time runs out. Okay. To quit the mini game. No, that's not what we're gonna do. As a reward, uh, certain item. Okay. Okie dokie. Ah, oh, what? He's blocking the way. Dude, move. The freak. I don't got all day. One. Well, he's blocking the way too. Who is everyone blocking the way? Oh man, I think I know what what's happening here. Oh, we're putting necklaces on them. Flower necklaces. Okay, I think I know what's going on here. Uh, they move at a certain time. We'll just have to get the ones that are not blocked. You know what? I'm gonna finish this! And if I don't finish it the first round, I'm just gonna have to redo it as many times as I have to. But I won't record those. Because that'll be boring. I hope I can do it one more time, at least. Okay, he's continuously blocking it. He's also standing here. Can you just move, man? A horse, was this here before? Have we even seen 16 of these? 
I don't think we have. Now the girls are blocking that door. Do you know? Have you seen? There's one. Two. Eight. Nine. Oh! Get up, get up, get up, get up. There's one here. We haven't even been up here. I just adore the view from here. I think this might be the highest place. The ladder is much longer. Feels like. Or I'm being tricked. No, where to now? Ah, now. Finally, you moved. I was just about to threaten you. Oh, I don't remember if there was any inside. Was there one at the bar? Um. Uh oh. Well, the girls moved from that door. Is there one in here? Gosh. There is no one here. Aha! Thought I would miss you. Okay. Four more. In here, these girls were blocking this place, so there better be. Hello, have you all seen a Kalilon? There's no one. How about up here? Oh, there's no one up here either. Oh gosh. I think I will probably need to roam around some more. Okay, did that boy remove himself? No. Oh, this one, right. <laughs> I forgot the biggest one. And he's not moving, this guy. Could you just move? Come on, man. Move. Should we just push him into the water? So we make it. Well, there is one at the top of the stairs. But I don't think that one... Ah, uh, This one. Yeah. Okay, two more. We know where one is. There's a, just a cat in here. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it, you guys! <gasps> and that kid had certainly not moved. Or he has moved, but I won't be able to make it. Uh, he has moved. Oh, I won't be able to make it to this one. But it doesn't matter because I have just found one! <sighs> I hope you enjoyed your quest. Now that you paid your respects to a total off. 14 statues, very well done. No, no. Here's your reward. Three Kalelon hearts, one slot seed, one seal block. Okay, not too bad. But what do I get if I get everything? Grants immunity to steal. That doesn't... I don't know what that even means. <laughs> Have a look around. Forewarned is forearmed, as they say. Deal <laughs> uh, clear and brave fruit. Recovers. Okay. Magic card that stabilizes the soul. What even is that? Mm, let's get some new Phoenix Downs. Um, 
Well, we have the money for it. Mm, wow. Horror staff. Battle discus. Well, we could buy every single one of them, actually. Get one more of these for battle discus. Uh, combat earrings or counter. Might as well get one. Oh, it's the same ones I gave Cook. Stabilizer, we have this one. Eastern Spirit Band. Spirit Magic. Only level 1 though. We do have one for level 2. Hmm. I'm not about to sell any one of those. Thank you kindly. See you soon. Is that your cat? Can I bring it along? good. We got the battle discus for him. And didn't we already have a staff for steel blocker? Yeah, let's pick that one. I don't I don't know what it does, so Dark Crystal Staff. Oh All of the other ones are the same. Four stuff, water stuff, water stuff, or we will give that to Ming. No, I want to see the princess cane before I switch it. I want to see the cane. Um, ring assembly, hello ring. Kelelon. Maybe there will be Kelelon that wants to fight us. Or maybe there won't be because they're the protectors of this village. That would be pretty weird, right? Well, we're going back to uh, Kaim's house. Kaim and Sarah's house. Which is now occupied by the old sorceress that some people seem to be afraid of. But there was one NPC that told us that she doesn't think the old sorceress is dangerous. She's not a bad person. So, hopefully not. <laughs> Do we need something? Or are we done? Get some more poison oil? Just so we have some components. You know, when we're traveling, we don't want to have too little components so we can't make rings. Because maybe we get stuck in a place where you need a specific ring. Or else we do like three green damage. <laughs> that would totally suck. Hmm. Let's see what we can assemble. Seal ring. Well, I don't know what seal does, but it sounds like you're sealed, so you can't do anything. Just like petrify, probably. It either seals magic or it seals actions. Or it seems like you can't use items. Or it could be random. Like, oh, you got seal starters on you, but it's totally random. We will see. That's the fun when playing games. You just have to see for yourself. 
Hmm. What more? Aim ring. Magic. Well, we can't do that one. We don't have components. We don't have... Most of them are just slightly increases. Sort of a small amount. Occasionally. Do this one and wind. Just in case. Maybe we'll see some kind of beasts. Okay, nothing unlocked here. Well, I'm gonna go back and save. And then I'm gonna do that... Um, do that uh, running around searching for Kalilons again. Because I'm gonna get them all! Every single one of them, because I want, I want that price. It has to be good. Okay, that'll be it. So thank you very much for watching and bye-bye.